Welcome back to Taylor Farms with the Rude Man. Um, I haven't live streamed Taylor Farms for a while, so I thought I'd come in and mess around a little bit today. Let's see, we got a little soybeans in here. Looks like this field is done, so let's scoop them up and put them in a the truck. Alright, what's happening? Oh, what if I got in there? I got something else in there. How about the second trailer? There we go. One down, one to go. Right, where's the other combine? And it's empty. All right, I can put it away. Or I may have other fields to do. I'll check that out. Okay. many vehicles now. Alright, let's go uh, take our crops in. And I gotta check these other fields. I've got other fields to work on. Is this Whistling Pete? I think it is. Yep. Whistling Pete. I love this truck. Okay, got canola in one trailer and soybeans in the other. Let's, uh, let's see, flip to the front trailer and dump it out. The only thing about these trailers I don't like is their dumpers. I wish they were. Uh, the ones that push the product out the back or uh, or a grain trailer but eh, they work okay and I don't have to worry about on this map about uh, being inside a building trying to dump the grain that was the problem so I don't have that problem here I had that problem on some of the 17 maps that had like uh, grain silos, storage silos in the train stations and things like that, where you had to drive inside a building, that was tough. All right, let me get out, check my other fields. Needs liming and plowing, both. Oh, I forget about these ditches. All right, this one is ready to harvest and it's 100% fertilized, so good on it. We're going to do barley and then run over to 29. Hi, Anthony. How are you? Hope you're doing well. This one's ready to harvest, but it does need plowing when I'm done with that. So, All right, what do we got in there? Soybeans. And then what else we got here? 30. What is this? 
Oh, I lost my... Dang it, I hate when that happens, and I don't know why. I don't know why it happens. I lost my my little HUD in the right hand, lower right hand corner. It tells me what the fields are doing. I hate when that happens. Nothing I can do about it either, except for to go out and restart the game. Let me save it. I'll go out to the main menu, come back in. How you doing, Anthony? You're doing good. Good, 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 good. All right, I'm almost back in. Okay, now let's put my speed boots back on and go check that field out. What is happening with that field? Wait a minute. Field 11 is ready to harvest and it's got oats on it. This one's already been harvested, but it doesn't look like it doesn't look like it needs... Well, I gotta remember, I plowed two fields together here. So... That's not mine. But they're done, and it doesn't need plowing, so I can just seed this one if I want to. Which I probably do. But, let's grab a combine. gotta watch out I got I haven't played this map for a while there are ditches around the field so you gotta be careful don't get stuck in the ditch look at those weeds man there's a lot of weeds on that field they're all dead but Gotta thresh him out. I'm imagining that you do. run of this. on this end. I can't remember whether there's a ditch on the other end or not. Let's go take a look. If there is, I want to do a headland on the other end too. Oh, I missed a little, a little bit of weeds there. The weeds in this game are so pretty. Red and yellow and pink. No, there isn't a ditch on this end, so I should be good to go. Might be easier to start on the tree line, though.
All right, now I can go get the other combine. And I can either double up on that field or or I can start a new a new field. Might be just as easy to double up on that one, I guess. The game YT name server. What's what do you mean? What is that? What are you what are you asking? I'm gonna do another headland along this ditch line here. Before we get started going up and down. No, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm not getting any windrow here. Don't know if I need it, but I might as well get it. Yeah, I'm still not getting it. What did I do? Hang on. Oh, I hit I hit the period button, not the uh, not the comma key. Let's try this now. Jorma, how are you? Thanks for coming in. I appreciate it. I hope you're doing well today. I got plenty of straw, but if I don't need it, I'll sell it. Do a couple of headlands here to keep me out of that ditch over there. Alrighty, let's hire a worker here. What do we got working today? Andy, Andy's on the job. Who's working the other one? Craig Dodds. Got Andy and Craig working today. Glad you're doing well, Jorma. Alright, what do we got here? Now, what needed plowed? Something needed plowed. Was it... Was it this field? This one needs lime. I thought one of them needed plowing. Okay, part of it needs plowed. And part of it... Isn't that weird? Part of it needs plowed, part of it doesn't. That's kind of strange. Well, we'll grab Big Bud here. And, uh... Do some plowing. Tell you what, before I do that, let's lime it first. Let's give it some lime first, and then we'll plow, plow the lime under. Might as well fill it up first. If you haven't played uh, Taylor Farms, this is a Michigan map, Taylor Farms. I haven't played this one for a while. I was playing, playing uh, or I'm talking about uh, live streaming actually. Uh, I live streamed Sudhammer the last couple of times. And I haven't live streamed this one for a while, so I thought I'd jump back to Taylor Farms and see how things are going here. While I'm doing that, let's get a truck prepared to run out to the field. This is the one. Whistling Pete, I call this truck. It whistles like a teapot. Oh, it looks like my uh, lime is finished filling. $1,500 for lime. I don't know if that's a good deal or not. It's a lot of money. Alright, well, we'll 
We'll just let that guy park out there and we'll go get our line spreader and put him to work. Okay, somebody doesn't want to work. There we go. There we go. All right, let's see. Where's the other big bud? Big bud's got plow on it. And this one's got the cedar. Might as well fill it up while we're at it. get this thing open here a little bit too close all right give me some furt furt eliza I like how the uh, the augers animation works pretty well on this. <coughs> All right, flip it to the uh, cedar. And fill it up with seeds. Hi, Nick. How you doing? What's new with you, sir? King Kid, how are you? Good to see you. That it? Six thousand dollars worth of seeds. Ooh wee! I didn't check to see what the fertilizer cost me, but hey, it takes money to make the world go round. Now the wage has got to be paid. I might have to sell some crop, pay off these workers here. But I'm gonna run up to field thirty-one and thirty and start seeding because I don't think it needs anything. It doesn't need lime apparently and it doesn't need plowed apparently. All I gotta do is keep out of the ditches here. Get around this pole. And then I got to figure out what I'm going to seed. Oh, shoot. I got ditches on both sides here. Ditches on the, to the right, just ditches to the left. What was that song? Clowns to the right of me, jokers to the left. Stuck in the middle again. We're going to start up here, but i got to figure out what I'm going to do first. Okay. Let's, uh, let's jump in here and see what we've got in storage. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. All right, well, i got a little bit of wheat. Not a lot. Let's see. 
That's only 300,000. I don't have any barley, but I'm doing barley right now. And uh, and no canola? What? I just did canola. That's not canola, is it? That's oats. Is this oats? I hate these damn new icons. Uh, that's canola, I think. So we have that. We don't have any oats, but I think I've got a field that I'm... I got a field that I'm uh, harvesting right now of oats and barley. I uh, got a little bit of sunflower seeds. I've got some... Um, a little bit of... So I guess I don't have much of anything, really. I can plant anything I want. Let's do... Let's do soybeans. No, let's do, um, no, I don't want to do that. Well, I'm just going to do canola. What the heck? No, wait, I got more canola than anything. I'm going to do sunflower seeds. I can't decide. I don't want to do cotton. I just hate cotton. Sunflower seeds. Let's do that. I got to do a couple headlands here, though, or I'm going to get stuck in the ditches. So let's uh, let's get this thing started up. And is it up or down? So how's everybody doing today? You guys all doing well? We're getting close to the end of January already. Can you believe that? Tell you what, time flies when you're having fun. Or any other time. Okay, let me back this thing out. What in the world is going on? Don't do that, silly thing. I know, I know, I know. I hit the button. All right, what am I doing here? Select to full, turn on sower, which is fine. Let me, I'm trying to figure out these silly controls here. Fold sower, tune sower, select. Okay, we've already got uh-oh, I changed it to corn. When did that happen? Uh-oh. I might have messed up royal here. Sunflower seeds. That's what I wanted. Okay, turn on sower. Select seeds. Turn on sower. Okay, but I want to lower the thing. What's going on? There it is. Lower the sower. And I still got sunflower seeds going. But now I got a tree problem. And I can't see. I'm making a royal mess of this. Out of the ditch. All right, I'm going to go on to the tree side here. Let me turn the cedar off and run along the tree line there. I think that's the safest bet. I think, I think, I think. Get out here. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna long, I'm gonna run around along the tree line. 
And let's hire somebody. I don't think I have a ditch on the other end, so I think I'll be okay. Hey, Nick. Did I say hello to you, Nick? I hope so. I can't recall. I hate when I miss somebody coming in. I like to make sure I say hi to everybody. I think I did. If I didn't, I just said hi again. Let's go check and see if we need to... Uh-oh, trouble. Oh, no. What happened? Trouble in paradise. Let's see if we can catch up here. Okay, we got one full. That means the other one's probably full too. Because he started before that one. Two different props here, so I'll put one in the front trailer and one in the back trailer. Is that guy finished over there? He may be finished. Because he doesn't have his pipe out. What's going on? I don't know. He thinks he's finished. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to start this guy up. He, I think he got to the road and got confused and just stopped. Let's, let's back him off. And no sense picking up his fruit till he's done. I'm going to finish this off manually. And then we'll dump that. We'll dump that load. Hey, Bill. What do you mean you're finished? What What were you doing? Are you finished eating? Did you finish work? Oh, we got some soybeans, and I can't remember. I think the other field has barley. Then I've got that field way up in front of us on the left there. That's got oats on it. So, hey Wayne, I'm doing great. Good to see you, sir. It has been a while, hasn't it? I hope you're doing well. What's new in your neck of the woods? <laughs> oh, you thought I was talking about you, huh? Hey, Bob. How are you? Long time no see. Okay, it looks like uh, 
Nope, there he goes. He's turned around. I was going to say the lime guy didn't look like he's working. I'm not sure if that whole field needs lime or not. Somebody just got paid. $900. Whoa. Red Dead, Red Dead Redemption 2. How do you like it? I love the game. It's just unbelievable. I like the first one. The second one is even better. I just love it. I tend to be I tend to play it though late at night. Uh, after I've done everything else and I just want to relax. Everybody's in bed, it's dark and quiet, and I just put on Red Dead Redemption and have a ball. Oh, Bill, I'm always talking about you, that's right. Yeah, it's a wonderful game. I just, it's so unbelievably well done. It's just amazing. And, you know, you get some of these other games. Like, don't get me wrong, I like Bethesda games. I like, uh, you know, Skyrim and Fallout. And this new game of theirs is crap, but I still been playing it a little bit. What? Oh my god. Uh oh. What's going on there? Look, the front wheel drive's pulling that rig. I'm gonna have to lock these in. All right, let's see if I can. What in the world? How'd I get high centered that bad? Um, I actually haven't talked to him for a while, but I think he's doing okay. He's been working on a new map, I know. Uh, he sent me a message this morning, but I haven't looked at it yet. But he's been doing a lot of live streaming. Okay, I'm really stuck here. I don't know how to get out of this mess. I can't go forward or backward. What in the world? How is that happening? Okay, that's crazy. I'm going to have to get a little help to get out of that one. What do we got here? All right, let's get this tractor and give. Uh, let's see if we can give our truck and trailer a little nudge. Anyway, I was talking about uh, some of these other games, you know, that could be really good and. Rockstar just seems to put out decent, decent looking games. I don't know if I'm doing any good or not. Alright, there's another way to do it. Alright, let me look, let me look, let me look. I do have another mod that might help me out. All right, I'm gonna have to do it this way. Let me let me turn my speed boots off, and then Control I. That gives me super strength here. I can grab this truck and kind of pull it forward a little. Let's try that. Am I on the ground now? Oh, that was terrible. I don't know what happened there. I've never had that happen before. That's weird. That's just weird. Right, let me get this other trailer up far enough. Dump it. There we go. No, uh, he, he kind of he retired from YouTube. He deleted all of his YouTube channel. 
uh, was too stressful for him. You know, he's been having health problems, but he still likes to stream because uh, streaming's a little different. It's a lot less, a lot less work. Um, so he's been streaming lately. So he streams only on Twitch, though. He doesn't, he doesn't stream on YouTube. I've been busy. I'm playing um, Elite Dangerous Bob, and uh, I started a uh, trip across the galaxy. It's a six-month trip, and I've been over there playing almost every day, all day, and just been taking a lot of my time. I've been neglecting the uh, live streaming, and I thought I'd better get in here today and do one. I don't know where I'm going. My combine's over there. Well, we'll just take our truck and send it out here, wait for that combine to fill up. And this guy's empty, although it still says there's soybean. No, it doesn't. It's okay. Let's go do some oats, eh? I've been spaced out. Yeah, it's been freaking... Um, it's been freaking Scorpion out. He keeps sending me these little comments space again I said yeah because he goes on to see what I'm playing uh, I'm on discord and of course when you're on discord it tells you it tells you what you're what everybody's doing you know what are you doing on discord well I'm, I'm playing farm sim or I, uh oh tractor went in a ditch that's a problem with these ditches so yeah it's it's uh, most of the guys I'm flying with uh, are from Europe, so the time difference is kind of... I have to kind of fly when they're flying. All right, let's see here. Let's see if I can get this guy out of here. Wow. Um, let me lock the differentials in again. And see. Come on, John Deere, pull yourself out. Oh, we walked right out. Sweet. Cool beans. No, Wayne, I play it on the PlayStation 4. Uh, I've got a PlayStation 4 Pro. And I've got an Xbox One uh, Plus. Oh, Xbox, Xbox One S, I think it's called. But, yeah, I don't play the Xbox much, but I do play the um, PlayStation once in a while only because uh, the only games I have over there are games you can't get anywhere else. They're exclusive to Sony. It's the only reason I've got it. But, yeah, I play on the PlayStation 4, uh, record the sound on my computer, and then I use a thumb drive to transfer the transfer the recording from the PlayStation over to my PC and then I render them and edit them on the PC and put them up on YouTube. It's a lot of work but it's a lot of fun and I'm also doing it in 4K so it takes a little bit of time for all the movies to render and stuff. They're pretty good size by the time I get them recorded. I've got a 55 inch 4K TV that sits uh, right behind my computer monitor and uh, it sets up on a, I've got it mounted on the wall so it's a little bit, I have to, to kind of look up a little bit to play it 
because uh, obviously it's a little bit higher up on the wall than the computer monitor is. But it's okay, it works well. Wonder where everybody's at today. Gosh, I haven't seen the gang, Andy and Alan. Where are they all at? Curious. Okay, he's not full. Why did he stop? That's weird. Oh no, he's stuck. Work your way out. There you go. Come on. Come on, you got treads. Shouldn't be stuck. Oh no. Work it, work it, work it. Come on. You can do it. Oh my goodness. Almost. Come on. You can do it. Oh, this is ridiculous. on what's it hooked on that's crazy look at that one tread there should be pulling it right off especially in four-wheel drive with the differentials locked hi gall how you doing thank you sir um I did finish uh, Horizon Dawn, but it was a little bit later. I didn't put the last few uh, episodes up. I should do that. I should just call it Chapter 2 and come back in and finish it off. All right, I'm going to have to get help here. This is terrible. I can't get off that stupid straw. Pick it up. I'm Superman. There we go. That's terrible. But you have to do that. All right, I'm going to go ahead and finish this. I have fun playing those games because you guys know I'm not very good at it. And so I figure if I play games like Red Dead Redemption and... and uh, the horizon and that kind of stuff if I can play it anybody can play it so I just have fun with it and people will say boy you suck at these games I say, I know that but I'm still having fun that's the whole that's the whole point of games isn't it you have fun you don't have to be a pro at it just enjoy it so I make them I record them and if people complain that boy you suck at these games I say, yeah but uh, I can guarantee you there's a whole lot of people that play just like me. You don't have to be a pro at it. Drop the header. I should have done that. Too late now. I'm out of it. I'm done. Well, not quite, but I will be in a second. The Farming Giant, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. Hope you're doing well. All right, that's close enough for government work. I don't know why I put that back in. I love that new quicker picker upper I've got, the new forage wagon, because I don't I don't care where the where the uh, windrows are. It just picks up everything like a like a Hoover vacuum cleaner. Oh, I've been so busy, I haven't even been able to look and see if there's anything new in gaming. All right, Wayne, thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it. Good to see you, sir. And have fun with Red Dead, because it's a fun game.
Okay. Well, you know what? I didn't start that other... I didn't start the other field of oats, so I might as well take both combines and work it over there. I don't think I can get through that way. Well, thank you. Appreciate it. I'm glad you're here. Farming Giant 73. Yeah, 19's not that much different than 17. Let's see. I'm going to work into this a little bit before I get going out there. Let's start this guy up. We'll go get the other combine. Let's get this guy going. Yeah, I appreciate, I appreciate you watching my, my videos and stuff, farmer. Farming. I do, I do. Uh-oh. I'm not getting the windrow. Change that right now. Yep, I appreciate it. More than you know. I don't know if there's a ditch on the other end or not. I don't think there is. Bill, you're awful quiet. What's happening, buddy? Uh-oh, what happened to my cedar? Cedar's having trouble over there. Let's go check on this. Oh, it's getting nighttime. What's happening here? This is weird. Not uh, He's not out of cedar fertilizer. What's he doing over here anyway? This is weird. Didn't I start this guy seeding over... Oh, wait a minute. Hang on. I thought these were weeds. They are weeds. But it's growing, too. Alright, I don't know. This is weird. Um. I, I don't think he liked being that close to the ditch. Let's finish this line up over here. Put some lights on. It's almost nighttime. Wow, for a big rig like this, it's got some little lights on it. This old big bud. I like big buds and I cannot lie. Right, we'll just finish this out manually. Before it gets dark. I want to get this done before it gets dark. This stuff grows at night, I think. I think, I think, I think. Oh, Bill, what you up to? I get nervous when Bill gets quiet. Because he's never quiet. What's uh, what's he playing now? I haven't seen Squirrel in... Gosh, I haven't watched his videos in two or three years. What's he streaming today?
This is weird. I thought I had this thing set to C a little bit faster than 16. I'm sure I did. City Skylines? Oh, wow. I haven't played that game in, gosh, four or five years. Uh, I started playing City Skylines when uh, the uh, the Sim one, uh, Sim City, they screwed up. Sim City made some terrible. Made I don't know what was going on, but Sim City was having problems, and everybody kind of went to uh, City Skylines, and and a as I did as well. But I haven't played it in a long time. I'm not very good at those games either. <laughs> My people, they're always starving and dying. and We need more power. It's like Scotty on the Star Trek Enterprise. We give it all we got, Captain. We need more power. The sewer's overflowing. It's always something with that game. Okay, well, I don't think I'm going to start any seeding now until the next day pops along, so I think I'll just get this guy off the field for now. Run him up on the end here. City Skylines. Wow, that makes me... I don't even think I've got it loaded on this computer. It's been so long since I played it. I might have to uh, take a look at that. I, I get some of these games that I haven't played in a while, and I get, I see somebody else playing it, and it just makes me itch to play it. Now, what was this guy pulling? I think this guy was pulling the quicker picker up. Yeah, he was. Oh, I'll tell you, when this game gets dark, it's like a snap of a light switch. It's weird. It's just all of a sudden, it's dark. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm just... I'm going to go sleep, and uh, then we'll start doing that other work. If I can get in here. It's hard to get in this door. you got to hit it just right. All right, there we go. Let's just do about 12 hours. Twelve hours of sleep is more than I ever get. I'm playing with a guy on uh, Elite Dangerous. Uh, there's a guy, gosh, where is he from? Oh, I can't recall, but it doesn't matter. Um, he physics he physically only sleeps two hours a day and that's his normal since he was a little boy it's just amazing how they can do that the farm and giant have I played farm simulator 2013 yes that's the one I started on if you go to my YouTube page, you'll see I got tons of, of videos from 2013. Uh, I mostly played the Idaho map on 2013. But yep, 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 I played 2013. That's, it's kind of funny because a lot of people ask me, have I played this game, have I played that game? I've got, what do I have now? I've got uh, about 2,500 videos up, or maybe not quite that many. I know I've got over 2,000 videos up on my YouTube page. But um, a lot of people don't necessarily go through your old movies.
Yeah, I don't even go through them because I wasn't very good back then. I'm not very good now at YouTube. And Yeah, it was. I liked it. I'd never even seen a game before, and I picked up 2013. I think it was on Steam. I can't remember, actually, where I found it. It might not have been on Steam. I might just have bought the game. I think I did. I think I just bought the game. Uh, and I had so much fun at it, because I'd, I'd get home after work, and it was just so relaxing to just grab a tractor, go out, farm a little bit, just so relaxing. And I could watch Netflix or whatever else I wanted to watch at the time uh, while I was farming, it was so relaxing. And, and I even actually, believe it or not, when I'm done with a harvest, I actually feel like I've accomplished something, just kind of like in real life, you know, you, uh, you do a hard day's work and you feel good about it. You're tired, but you, you feel like you've accomplished something. I kind of, believe it or not, I kind of feel that in some of these games too. I feel like I've done something. It was kind of silly. People think you're nuts, but that's okay. Maybe maybe we are nuts. I don't know. Was it on Steam? Then that's probably where I got it. Wow, that filled up fast. Okay, now first of all, let me see how much I've got in hay. Because if I already got a ton of hay, uh, you know, not literally... But because I'm 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 sure I've got more than a ton of hay. Now which one is hay? That's am I talking hay again? I meant straw. Okay, there's the straw. I've got uh, a million and a half. That's a lot of straw. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go over here and sell it. I'm just gonna sell it. Because I don't need that much straw. What am I going to do with it? Mr. Judge Schnott. <laughs> That's a nice name. I'm not quite sure what it means, but hi, how are you? I also think it's kind of funny you mentioned Farm Sim 2013. The game, this game, all you know, a few years later, uh, this game doesn't... Oh, I got 16,000 out of that. Um, this game doesn't actually play hardly any different than 2013 did, really. There's a couple things I miss in 2013 that you don't get anymore. The, the main one off the top of my head is that uh, we used to be able to get out on the highway and bump cars off the road. That was so much fun. You had traffic, just like you have in this game. Um, but I would go out and knock people off the road. It was just so fun. You don't know what it means? It's just funny. I think it's funny. It doesn't have to mean anything. My name doesn't mean anything. If it did, if it did, you know, it would mean that I was a nasty person because I'm rude, but that's that's not what the na name, you know, that's not where the name came from. It's, uh, <clears throat> it's a play on my real life name, which is Rudy. And uh, I used to work at a radio station. And when I went into the uh, DJ booth, the DJs would yell out over the air, oh, the rude man's here. So I just started calling myself the rude man on the on the internet and people would say well you don't seem that rude and I, and I would laugh as well I'm not it's not that's not what it means to me now there's a lot of other people named rude man out there I don't know if you've looked but every 
you know, that's that's why I'm Rude Man 53. There's a lot of Rude Men out there. And some of them chose the name because they are, they are rude. They might be trolls. Right. Right, right, Mr. Judge. But I'm sure there's a lot of people that chose the name because they are kind of, you know, maybe they're they're griefers or trolls or it's kind of funny when people that play games and stuff start talking to people that don't and they start talking about trolls and griefers and people are looking at me like what the hell are you talking about what does that mean you have trolls you mean them little ugly dolls no 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 Oh, really? That's pretty creative. You took a front end loader and <laughs> hauled their cars away. Huh? That's funny. Boy, these ditches make this uh, a little bit challenging. Not quite as much as fences and hedges, but uh, you run into a fence, you can usually back off of it. You get in a ditch, sometimes you have trouble getting out. All right, while I was doing that, let's grab our, uh-oh, Trouble in Paradise. What's going on here? These guys not playing well together. Andy, where do you see Andy? I don't see Andy. Where do you see Andy? There he is. Andy, when did you come in? I missed Andy coming in. How you doing, Andy? Alright, let's get our truck. We know those combines are almost done over there. Get our truck back there. Now, if you hit a car, you get you can you kick flip, do a kick flip. Well, I tell you what, hit a car in this game, it's like hitting a c cement wall. It ain't right. It's not right. We should be able to run the cars off the road like we used to do. Andy's Andy's uh, farm sims version of Norm from Cheers, where everybody knows his name. the uh, what are all those things strewn off what I never noticed that before all those cones why are they all out like that can you pick them up well that's weird why are these things all strewn out on the tracks and stuff that's weird I have never noticed that I didn't hit them Huh, strange.
You only been here five minutes. I missed. I missed you coming in. I. Uh, I don't know what I was doing. Does the Chevy C70 dump truck hold material? Hold material. What you mean? You mean does it hold stuff? Is that what you mean by material? This is I call it stubby too. And uh, yeah, it holds stuff. It's got a it's got a, a bumper hitch, and it's also got a fifth wheel hitch if you have a uh, uh, gooseneck trailer. And it also will hold stuff. So let's put some. Where's my straw? There it is. Yep, you can put stuff in it. Like grain? Yeah, you can put grain in it. I have it set for 40,000. I had it set a little bit higher than that, but there's no way that that little thing holds 40,000. But mine does. But if you put much more in there, it uh, makes it too heavy. Yep, it holds stuff. Turn the engine off. Stuff it holds. Indeedy do. Man, the weeds are terrible in this game, aren't they? I mean, they're pretty, don't get me wrong. Green and white and red and pink and that kind of stuff, but they're nasty. They're just everywhere. All right, looks like these guys are kind of full. Who's running that one anyway? Here, let's get this guy before he gets in trouble. Yeah, I call that new Chevy Stump Stumpy to Stubby Stubby to I miss Stubby I'm getting thirsty though what time is it? I've been out here an hour hour and 15 minutes let me grab something cold here you know what I haven't had a squirt in a while I'm gonna, I'm gonna quench my thirst with a squirt and it's cold. It was sitting back by the freezer. So, man, it's cold. Hang on. I got one of those things, that, a little jacket that you put on a can. I don't know what they call them. A cozy or a koozie or whatever. But I'm going to use this one. I think it's, uh, it's made out of that same material that they make... Um, What are they, wetsuits? You know what a wetsuit is that you put on and go out snorkeling and stuff? Okay, hang on. Mmm. Oh, that's almost icy. It's so cold, but it's very refreshing. I'll put a cover on it, though, so it doesn't freeze my fingers. All righty, then. Let's close this one out. Get it out of the way and let's find our truck again. I miss my I miss my little thing that uh, that lets me pick my equipment. The vehicle what the hell was that called? Veges or something? Vehicle utility yet lets you set a macro key up for your uh, equipment. I miss that. And I've been so busy, I haven't got a chance to go to any mod pages to see what kind of... Yeah, Farming Giant says a koozie. That's right. That's what they call them. I guess. But I haven't had time to go to any of the web pages to see if there's any new mods out. 
Somebody keeps uh, uh, sending me stuff about the uh, Taylor Farms. Um, I guess they're putting out some new equipment, stuff like that, on their mod page, on their Facebook page. You got from OZ? Yeah. I was going to ask you a question, Andy, and I can't remember what it was. Um, I was on my space game last night, and there were a couple guys... Uh, one was from Scotland and one was from uh, Great Britain. <coughs> Actually, several of them were. They were talking about something. The subject came up to Haggis at one point. But there was something they were talking about. I, dang it, I should have wrote it down. Uh, because I thought of you, Andy. Because they were talking about, well, in this part of England people do this but when you get down to say Devon people do it the opposite way I should have written it down because I thought well wait a minute I not only know somebody that lives in Devon they're also Scottish and then I forgot to write the dang thing down I can't remember what it was but anyway I was a think I was thinking about you last night Am I stuck again? I got high centered on this earlier. Oh, I'm all but high centered. Okay, let me back up if I can. Because I got to get a run at it. Scones? Maybe that's what they were talking about. It was something like that. You know what? I think it was because... Uh, I'll tell you how the conversation came about. Uh, we were on a planet, and there's these there, there's these geysers, or you guys pronounce it geysers, I guess. And they're shaped like an upside-down cone, like an ice cream cone. And I think we were talking about cones, and the subject went to scones and something like that. Devon and Cornwall don't get on in history. Yeah, I know that. I've seen videos on that stuff. Historical videos and stuff. Yeah, you guys don't like each other. All right, now let's see if I can get this thing going without getting it high centered. Oh, whistling Pete. Listen to that thing whistle. T's on. Devon and Cornwall. A lot of history there. Is there a ditch? There is, but not in front of me. Jam on first or ice cream on first? They do it opposite ways. Isn't that silly? Well, it's like people eating eggs. I've seen people eat eggs a weird way. It's uh, I've seen people with, I'm talking about chicken eggs, where you, you have fry, fried eggs. Uh, you can fry eggs. You can sc scramble eggs. You can poach eggs. You know, there's a lot of way to do eggs. But I'm talking about people that come in and they want their eggs fried a certain way. Okay, I want you to fry them where uh, the, the, the yolks are still runny, right? And they're real picky about it. And then you watch them eat their eggs. They take a fork and they chop it up. They just go to town and chop the egg up like, and mix it all up. Well, why don't you just scramble it then? If you're going to do that. It's weird. My wife does that. 
And I, and I always get after her. I said, why don't you just eat scrambled eggs if you're going to chop them up like that? Oh, she said, that's how my dad used to eat them, and I got used to it that way. And... All right. Whatever floats your boat. Alan's in the house. Hey, Alan. How are you doing today? Anybody seen Scorpion lately? I haven't seen him in a week. Wow, this finishes off my harvest. I planted that big field over there in sunflower seeds earlier. Um, tag this stupid combine. Run. <laughs> Run? What are we running from? You're doing good, Alan? Good to hear. <coughs> yeah, I know. I've been stuck out in space. Andy. It's my my fault. I've just been so busy. Most of the guys I'm uh, flying in space with are uh, Europeans, and so the uh, time frame that I've been working on is the same one I've been live streaming on so I've been I know I've been neglectful I think that's why Scorpion's not here I think he's mad at me I haven't talked to him in a week Alien Jim has sent Mercury Farms to Giant for testing have I played Mercury Farms I can't remember does anybody remember? I don't recall. Yeah, they don't... Uh, they don't get them done that quickly when you send them over for Xbox. They're very picky about it. Um, Xbox won't allow anything that's got any airs in it. So everybody thinks it's Giant that stalls on it. It's not. It's Microsoft. It's both of them, really. But mostly Microsoft. They're so picky. And I guess you can't blame them. I think kind of what they're afraid of is, you know how people are, you, you know when you're talking to somebody and then they go and tell somebody else what you said and, and you look at them and say, that's not what I said. People only hear what they want to hear. And it's the same way with some of these games and stuff. Okay, so what do I mean? Well, you're playing on the Xbox and you download a mod and the mod has errors in it and it does something or doesn't work right or something's wrong with it people will go and blame the game for that or they'll blame Microsoft for it or not really you know they don't remember that it's a mod you know it's it's this that just somebody like them has made uh, and so they think that well you know, it's on my Xbox. Microsoft should be, you know, they they should be responsible for this. So consequently, they're very picky about what goes up there. And you can't have a mod that has any errors in it. They won't let you. They won't okay it. So it takes forever. You played it on, um, Alan says he played it on 17. Uh, it's the one where you can customize the farm. Gosh. Mercury. I don't remember. Maverick's waiting on the new scripts to release so he can convert Jorn's farm. Yeah, what's that all about? Why is it taking him so long to release the scripts?
So, it's an alien gym one. Is that the one? That's not the one where you had to log all the trees before you could um, before you could uh, make a uh, field or and or I remember you had to clean up all the trash and stuff on the farm. That's not the one, is it? I can't remember what that one's called either. Oh, wait a minute. No, that was something island. I remember. I played it on 17. All right, I'll have to go look. I'll, I'll have to go look. Either that or I'll wait till it comes out on 19 and play it again. That's a problem. I've, turned, I've uh, played too many maps. But then again, can you really play too many maps? Right, Alan, it was Spectacle Island, that's right. Oh, Ghost Rider is going for food. Bring some back with you. <laughs> Everybody's popping up Spectacle Island. Yeah, that's right. I remember now that you say that. All right, let's get this stuff off the field here. Done harvesting. Let's see, I've seeded that great big field over there. Ooh, I just smashed my trailer. Uh, I need to seed the one in front of me, and then I need to seed the one way over yonder. And then these two have straw on them. Now, I'm, I'm full up on straw, pretty much. I got... A million and a half in straw. I don't need that much straw, so I've been, I've been selling the straw. Every little bit helps. At least that's my opinion, and I'm sticking to it. A piece of Bill eats pizza for every meal, I think. Hey, John, how are you? Hope life is treating you well. Epic Drake's in the house. Hello, Epic, how are you? Welcome and thanks for stopping in. I appreciate it. Yeah, with whistling feet. It does too, doesn't it? it? Sounds like every time I hear that, I say, oh, tea's hot. I had more time in my life to do all the stuff I want to do. I've neglected uh, live streaming lately. I feel kind of bad about it. I've been so busy with playing other games, and and uh, I, it's hard. It's hard. It really is. I mean, guys, I've been I've been playing farm sim since I started my YouTube channel. And now you guys know I still play other games, but imagine, you know, with with playing all the other games, it takes a lot of time. And I have family too, so uh, if I if I want to play another game, that means I can't be playing this one and still have time with my family. It's just tough. It really is, and I feel bad because. When I first started my YouTube page, I never intended it to be just one game because I'd been watching other people. Now look, my HUD went away again, the one in the lower right-hand corner. It keeps doing that. Anyway, I was watching a lot of people playing like Minecraft and other games, whatever game that they were playing. 
and um, I hear I'd hear them complain that they wanted to play other games, but their but their subscribers wouldn't let them because we like the game you're playing. We don't like the game you want to play. And so you're a Minecraft page. You can only play Minecraft. And if you if you play any other game, we're just not going to watch you anymore. And people got all upset about that. And I said, you know, I'm going to play whatever I want to play. And because I didn't really, uh, I wasn't really trying to make money at this. It's just a hobby. I'm just doing it for fun. But as it turns out, the game that took off for me that got me all the subscribers is the farming sim game. So, you know, there you are. Oh, Alan, thank you. Oh, you watched Ready Player One? That's a good one. Have you read the books? The books are good, too. All right, well, I'm going to get my HUD back. Hang on. I'm going to save the game. And the only way I can figure out how to get it back is to go back to the main menu and come back in. So hang on just a sec. And we'll come back in. It is a strange movie. I think they I think they actually did a pretty good job with it because it, it, imagine you know they're they're trying to uh, put a whole complete world together in game and uh yeah, I think they did a pretty good job with it. All right, now what was I looking at? I was looking at not that. Let's get out of this. Okay, here we go. Okay, it needs plowing, so I can't uh, I can't seed it yet. So let's get this seeder off the. And it needs lime, so I'm gonna lime it first, and then and then we'll uh, seed it. Yeah, that movie couldn't be made a few years ago. Let me find my limer. Here we go. Get him started. And he's almost empty. We'll go fill him up. Davin, uh, Darren. How are you? You saw Bumblebee? Is it out now? I hadn't seen that it was out. Oh, good evening to you, sir, Darren. Uh, how did you like Bumblebee? I gotta get, uh, I gotta get, what? I gotta get this guy back out there and get that field done. Bill's back. Welcome back, Bill. Bird box looked really weird. It looked really strange. Uh, I, when I first saw the uh, concept, I thought, "You're going to travel cross country w with a blindfold on." What? Well, the other Transformer movies didn't have much of a story, did they? A lot of action.
<clears throat> yeah, I might have to check that bird box out. It just looked really weird, though. I think it's funny because uh, the big movie studios now are having trouble. They can't seem to make a decent movie anymore. And they keep making remakes of old movies over and over and over. And some of them were bad movies to begin with. Why they remake them, I don't know. But And they're getting all kinds of weird stuff in their movies. Netflix has been putting out a lot of movies, have you noticed? And, you know, these are not movies that are from the studios. They're actually making their own movies. Kicking Decepticon arse. Uh, yeah, it is, Alan. I've been doing... The last couple times I did uh, Sudafed, well, but <laughs> what I call Sudafed, I've been playing Sudhammer, and uh, I decided to jump back to Taylor Farms for a while. I'm kind of, I get to where I get tired of playing the same map all the time. You guys know that. So I jump around a little bit. This guy's done. Head out to the field. Everybody should got to kick a little Decepticon ass. Yeah. I always liked the uh, Transformers, and so when they started making Transformer movies, you know, I've watched them, and people say, well, they're bad movies. Well, maybe they are, but they're still entertaining. It, it just depends what you're trying to get out of them. If you're trying to get war and peace out of them, or if you just want to be entertained for a couple hours, it just depends. Fenton Forest. Yeah, I have more than that, Andy, on 17. I don't on this one, but on 17, I had about 30. And I, I kept having to bring them in and take them back out again. I have to, I'd have to archive them. It's funny. Now, let's see if I can stay out of the ditch here. What the hell am I doing? Here we go. All right, who's working? Whoops. I blew it. I just fired somebody for insubordination. I don't even know who I fired. Okay, who's working? Troy. Troy M. is working here. Pacific Rim movies. Yeah, now those were... Um, I think those got a little bit of grief too, but, you know, they actually made quite a bit of money they were not bad I didn't mind them again again you know 
don't have such high expectations that you want to be entertained. And they were entertaining. The first one, yeah, they, they kind of were. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. A lot of people gave them a hard time. You know, that, oh, look, it's a Transformer ripoff, or, you know, whatever it is. Oh, it's a B movie, or whatever. But hey, if you're just looking for a little entertainment, they actually weren't that bad a movie. They were, they were not bad at all. They were pretty good. I enjoyed both of them. The second one has that Boyega guy in it from Star Wars. The guy that played Finn. I can't remember his first name. Yeah, Darren. Not only that, uh, you know, big monsters like uh, Godzilla. If you like Godzilla movies, not much difference there, except for uh, there's big robots kicking ass. I never did understand the, the two brains hooked together to run the robot, though. That didn't make sense to me, but oh well. Okay, so we're looking at... Okay... What does this one need? It needs lime. It already has lime. Come on, give me a break. It has lime. Alright, let's uh, seed this one, I guess. I'm gonna have to do a headland again because it's next to a ditch. I don't want to get stuck in the ditch. And I don't need to do sunflowers. Let's see. What can we do? Corn. Potatoes. Sugar beets. No. Grass. No. Poplars. No. No sugar cane. Oats. I just did a field of oats. Cotton. Wheat. Barley. Canola. Soybeans. Hmm. Let's do a little more corn here. I don't think I have a lot of corn. I might very well have, I just don't remember. John Deere Drive Green? No, I haven't. I haven't heard of that. Anybody else heard of that? Okay, I'm going to run down and do the other end. I'm just going to do a headland all around the field, I think. Plowing up, seeding up, cultivating up the pretty, pretty, pretty weeds. Gotta remember, I got a ditch on this end. I gotta be careful. Ah, you can't back these up with a turd because of that. Oh, it's just another farming game? Okay. Uh, 
Uh, I just seeded the ditch. Now, let's just see if I can back up just a little ways. I'll be okay. I think. Straighten it up. Come back out here. I, I think that's right, Darren. I think something... I heard something about that. There was some reason why they wouldn't sell their brand out. Some people are just picky about their brand. Like uh, Euro Truck, Truck Simulator, uh, Mercedes-Benz, they were all picky. They wouldn't let Euro truck use uh, Mercedes Benz name, and I always thought it was kind of silly because it's free advertising. A lot of people playing a game, they want to drive a Mercedes Benz, but they wouldn't let them. It's crazy. We still had them. Somebody made a mod of a Mercedes Benz. Yeah, probably, it, yeah, uh, wasn't very good. I think, uh, I, I don't think they put a lot of effort in it was the problem. You know, I, I think they just thought, hey, we're John Deere, you know, we can, people want to play a John Deere, obviously, because, you know, they kept asking for it in games like this one. So it must be something they want. So we'll, we'll put our own game out, but they don't know anything about gaming. Yeah, it probably wasn't very good. Right, we gotta pick up some more. Pick up some more straw. Got a whole nother field to do. Got a little giddy there, did you, Darren? I always like Massey Ferguson's. I we used to use a lot of Massey Ferguson's in the uh, orchards because they were very small and could drive between the trees just fine. And you know, they they made a, a very small tractor. I mean, they made all kinds of tractors, but we used to use the little uh, John or Massey Ferguson tractors in the, in the fruit orchards. It's a little giddy. Anybody else playing any, any other games besides Farm Sim lately? I know uh, somebody said they were playing um, uh, Red Dead Redemption. Besides me. I've got so many games to play. I've got a couple hundred games on Steam. And I would say probably 90% of them I've never even loaded up on my computer. I want to play um, the new Tomb Raider game I've got. I haven't played. Uh, I've got two or three Uncharted games that I haven't played yet. I bought two, uh, the two new 
um, Assassin's Creed games I haven't played yet. I just don't have enough time. I just need more time. So many games I want to play and I just haven't had time to do it. Where do you live, Darren? Rumor Mill has started again with the FS19 DLC as Kloss and Giants own GPS mod. XD says he plays Rainbow Six Siege. That game's a lot of fun. Looking at buying an Xbox One, should I get an S or an X? Again, you know, I don't know that much about the X's, but I bought an S. Uh, but I don't use consoles much, so... I guess it'd come down to how much money you want to spend. Darren's, Darren's in the UK. The Massey Ferguson's are uh, Canadian. The two companies, uh, Massey and Ferguson, uh, merged and started making those in Canada. Which is kind of funny because when I was uh, younger, we had the Massey Ferguson's, as I just said, in the orchards. For some reason, I always thought Massey Ferguson was an American company, but. Um, it wasn't until I started playing Farm Sim that, uh, that I found out that they were Canadian. Somebody asked something about Massey Ferguson. It, Massey Ferguson's weren't in the game yet at that time, I don't think. But anyway, somebody asked about it, and I looked it up, and I thought, oh, it's a Canadian company. Thank you, Ashley. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. How are you? I hope you're doing well. Crack down three. Buy X if you want true 4K. Yeah, that's a that was an issue with both the PlayStation uh, 4 Pro and the Xbox. They both said that they had 4K, but it wasn't true 4K. Uh, yeah, that being said, the argument comes down to that. Uh, it's it's been argued, rightly so, and some some say that uh, humans can't really tell the difference 4K. Um, I think you can, but I don't know. I, I tell you what, when I'm watching movies, I've got both 4K and Blu-ray, uh, Blu-ray 4K and just regular Blu-ray. A lot of times I can't tell the difference. You know, once you get into the movie, man, somebody says, is this 4K? Uh, by God, it, it is, or, you know. I guess I'd say if you didn't have one, I don't know what the difference in price is nowadays between the uh, the S and the X. So it might come down to money. If you got the money, might as well get the newer one. Basically, the X is just basically it's just a computer. Well, they all are, but. PS4 or Xbox again for me it I've got both of them uh, I tend to play the Sony more than the Xbox it comes down to and it's and it's getting less and less nowadays but the only reason I bought a PlayStation 4 
was for their exclusive Sony's exclusive games there were games that you just couldn't get on any other they weren't get, putting them on PC they didn't have them on Xbox and I wanted to play them so I bought a PS4 but it's a little different nowadays because Sony is getting with the program and allowing cross uh, platform now so it may not make a difference anymore it just depends on what you uh, you know which one you think is better I mean I've seen in the past I've got like I said I've got both of them and the difference is in which one do I buy the game for okay so I've got an Xbox and I want to play Grand Theft Auto okay do I buy it for the Xbox or do I buy it for the PlayStation well it comes down to a couple of things it may come down to which one you're a fanboy from. It may come down to, well, the controller fits my hand better for Sony than it does the Xbox. The Xbox controller a little bit bigger. I have small hands. So I think the uh, the PlayStation controller fits better in my hand. So, you know, so there's that to consider. There's, uh, you see these, you see these uh, things on the internet where they compare an Xbox game to a PlayStation game and they're claiming one is better than the other. Okay, the graphics are better on Xbox. No, the graphics are better on PlayStation. And they argue back and forth, but I think it all comes down to particular uh, people because let's say you're walking through a department store and they got 20 TVs playing you know, in the TV section. And you're walking through, and one guy says, oh my God, the color on this TV is just really good compared to the one next to it. And then there's another person there who says, no, no, they're, no, no, the other one is better. It's just so much more brighter. No, 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 this one's more brighter. I really think that, that people, are, individual people, see things differently. What I mean, like, let's look at this trailer and you look at the color of the trailer that I'm driving right here, okay? It's yellow. I can guarantee you at some point somebody's going to say, well, it looks a little bit more orange to me. Everybody sees things differently, so it's hard. When, it, when you start looking at comparing, well, this game looks better on Xbox than it does on PlayStation. I don't know. It's it's an individual taste. Ashley, I gave the squad a PC. Darren wants to know if the 4K, uh, true 4K, is worth another 200 pounds. I don't. I don't think so I don't think so not everything's in 4k um, and again I think everybody sees different you know because I've, I've had people tell me that uh, I think it's the same way with sound I used to have uh, people tell me that their that their stereo was better than mine and I would listen to both of them couldn't tell the difference but they would say, oh, my God, are you kidding? It's like the difference between night and day. It's so much different. Well, maybe my hearing is different than yours. And I can tell you, like my wife, we'll be, wa we'll be walking along and she she'll say, oh, my God, can you hear that noise? What noise? I don't hear anything. You can't hear that. No, I can't hear it. Well, what kind of noise is it? It's a very high-pitched noise. Okay. Well, uh, same thing. We're walking down the street, and I say, oh, can, God, that, can you hear that noise? And she says, no, I can't hear that noise. Well, what kind of noise is it? Well, it's a little, it's a, it's a deep rumble. I can't hear it, she says. So your range of hearing, I think, is different, just like your, the, your, your vision is different than other people's. And uh, because I've had people tell me that they can't tell the difference between 1080p and 4K. And other people say, oh, my God, you've got to be kidding. It's just, it's like the difference between black and white and color. It's 
So I think you should listen to everybody's opinion because they all have one, and it, every and they're all all their opinions may be valid. But I don't know. I wouldn't think it. I wouldn't pay two hundred dollars more for it. That's just my opinion. Yeah, I have the S. I'm happy with it. XD says his name is Scott Chegg. Well, glad to meet you, Scott. Happy birthday, Ben. Hey, everybody, it's Ben's birthday. Everybody say happy birthday to Ben. You only have a birthday once a year. You should, uh, you should celebrate it. Uh, Darren, that's why they do it. So you, so you spend the money on the new console. Yes, <laughs> Alan. That's right. <laughs> it's a. It's a little graphic, but it's correct. The only the only difference is some some people's are a little bit bigger than others. I forgot what I was doing. I haven't heard anything on course play for a couple weeks because obviously I haven't been on. Um, last I heard, they were still working on it, but I don't know how far back they are. They may they may be having an issue with the scripts not being out yet. Let's see if I can get all three of these here. You live with your grandma, but you're 32. Well, there, there's reasons for people having that family thing. There's nothing wrong with living with family. That's what family's for. The old saying, you, if you can't count on your family. Curse play, Bill says. Curses. Egads. I'll tell you what, at this point, I'd be happy just to get uh, GPS, if nothing else. Somebody said something about the DLC. Did they say anything about when a DLC is coming out? Because the game just came out not too long ago. And and again, in my mind, is it going to be a, a paid DLC? Do we have to pay for it? Because 
I will pay for it, but I will be a little snarky about it because if it's if they if they have a DLC and the only thing in it is like GPS and a couple things like that, I'm gonna say, come on, that should have been in the game. If it's a paid DLC and all they got is GPS and and cloths in it, those things should have been in the game. This shouldn't be a paid DLC. There wouldn't be, especially the GPS, there would be no reason for GPS not to be in the game when it was already in the game as a mod. It was already something that we were able to do through a mod. If nothing else, they could have taken the mod and just added it into the game. No problem. Sometime in February. And it is pay. It is to pay. Where can you find a bigger trailer? Well, what do you mean by bigger, Bill? You mean by the amount it holds? The one I'm using is not too bad. You can actually, I, uh, I tried it. You can actually put uh, more in it. I, I stopped at 150. Well, I could have put 300,000 easy in it. Yeah, there better be something in it besides Kloss and Deal and, uh, and uh, GPS if they're going to charge for it. Like I said, I'll, I'll probably end up buying it because, you know, it's kind of like uh, Marvel movies. You know, I didn't, I, I liked all the Marvel movies. There's some I liked a lot better than others. Uh, there's some of them that weren't that good. I still bought them all because you want to have the whole set. Same, same way. I'll pay for the DLC. I bought every other, in 17, I bought every DLC in 17 and never used any of it. All right, XD. Have a good evening. I'm not. I'm gonna be going pretty quick as as well. I've been on for a couple hours now, so I'm probably getting close here. Silver News found Kloss related files in the base game, which suggests Kloss DLC. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. They did. They did say uh, through the grapevine that. They had stuff they were working on, and it wasn't finished when they decided to go ahead and get the game out. So, it could be it's already there, and they're just waiting. Who knows? It might have been something that they just wanted to polish, polish up a little bit before they actually put it in. How big do you want? Bill, what are you looking for? 300,000, 200,000? Like I say, that trailer that I'm doing here, this one, is a pretty decent trailer. These are pretty decent trailers. They're, they're, even that other one was a pretty decent trailer, except for it had that, it had that uh, thing in the front. Yeah, this one's just got the, the ladder thing. The other one had a stand you could stand on. Nine hours? You have gotten up to go to the bathroom, haven't you? Three hundred K? Right, I'll tell you what, look at the size of this. This is a pretty decent sized trailer. Let me mod it to three hundred and see how it pulls. And uh, if that's the case, uh, this one is a pretty decent trailer. I don't like the dump part, but that's okay. That's a little thing. 
that's a that's a minor thing. Let me work on it. I'll I'll boost it up to 300 and see if it uh, if the suspension still works on it. This one is not a bad trailer either, except for uh, it's pretty small. It's pretty small, and I have trouble with this one too. Um, I had trouble with this one. I pulled it with the with the uh, the other Peterbilt. Seems to work okay with this Peterbilt, but the other Peterbilt. It, it actually picks it up so the wheels don't touch the ground. It's weird. I'm talking about that Peterbilt that had all the, the uh, decals on it. Let's see. This Peterbilt. The, this Peterbilt right here, this Cat Peterbilt, is too low to the ground back here. It's too low. And so when you hook it up to a trailer like if you back it up in here this this axle right here is so low that the trailer has when you hook it up the trailer dips down about a foot which raises the rear end of the trailer up off the ground and the wheels don't even touch it's just freaky so I stopped using that truck for that reason Hoopster, eh? Well, guys, I've been on a couple hours. I'm going to go ahead and uh, and uh, get off for a while. And what is today? Saturday? If I have time, I'll come back on tomorrow. Must be the Dr. Pepper making you have to go. You drinking Dr. Pepper? I didn't think you drink. I didn't think you drank Dr. Pepper. <laughs> anyway, everybody, I hope you had fun. I'm going to go ahead and go. And uh, I'll try to come on again tomorrow about noon, my time. So... Um, hope to see you there. Hope you had fun. Thanks for stopping by and keeping me company. And uh, have a good evening, and I'll see you later. Good night.